Okay. Well, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I did promise that I should uh, try out some more stuff of this quad. I would try out the Ausenma camera again, as you can see. It's the Ausenma camera, it's not the normal one. Uh, and see how how it really works because it just got to be uh, just a minute of flight time the last time around so I'm going to try it out then I should change the camera back to the stock camera and I would try to fly it with the follow me function again so let's get started I would uh, connect everything um, yeah it's kind of snowy today it's really really cold as usual so I armed the quad by putting the cell phone in the holder and it's as you see it's kind of it's stable I'm pressing the camera on and doing a calibration of the gyro. I wake the phone up. Let's see here if the camera wakes up. It uh, Getting the connection, it's connected, it says. I open up the app. So now we have that done and we shall go down. To my launching point. Oh darn, it's really really cold. I'm doing I calibrate the compass. Yes you see it's fla flashing both forward and back. I did the wrong one there. Now it's content. I'm doing. Now it's done. Taking the camera up. Letting the camera on. Recording. Yeah. Turning around. It faces me.
I'm not sure if uh, the follow me works now <laughs> with that camera there. Trying to get. Let's try it if that works. I don't know. If it do not, I will notice the. Let's get it. Okay, let's hope for the best. It actually seems to follow me. Uh, I'm not sure. It actually stands still now. No. I don't think it's following me. Let's slide a little just to check out the camera. Let's get it down and land it and change the camera system. It do don't like to get down too fast. It seems like though. But I'm doing the automatic landing now so the follow me didn't work so the follow me is really concentrating on the phone so so the first test it's done. <coughs> Turning the quad off. The controller. Then the camera. And then the phone. I really have to get inside for a second because it's really, really cold out here. And then I'll do the next tryout. Okay, I'm back again. This time I'm going to try the follow me function with the stock camera. Let's see here now. It's a little windy this time.
finding the camera down a little. I'm filming. I hope I'm filming. Let's see how if follow me works. I really hope so. Or I have to Ah uh, It do follow me this time. So the problem I had before Okay, I have to stop a little. I think I have, I am too close. Trying. It's a little windy. Let's try it out again. I'm going towards it. And they're going back. So, as I said in, the, in my review, if you have the drone enough far away, it will be no problems when it comes to the when it comes to the follow me, it do work, but just as with all the other, like Hubson or or the Altsenma CTO 35, you have to be kinda close. This time I'm going to use that one. I'm going to try that one. Land. 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 Ah, it doesn't. I don't know what there is, but I'm going to land it from the from the screen instead. It's really, really cold out here. So uh, there you have it. I wish there would be I hope there would be a update to the software in the future or something like that. That gives this quad maybe waypoint missions and stuff because this point to fly do work kind of good and it's kind of close to this so called waypoint mission but instead you have several points in the same time so you just uh, can you you only can point one at a time. So uh, there you have it. I, I do recommend this. I still recommend it. The follow me do work. So that mishap during my review was was it what I was just too far away for it to actually <laughs> recognize the phone. So see ya. Bye.